get his Volibear Bear down into the bot lane after that level six mark. He did it in finals last split. He did it at MSI. Now he's going to have to do it against Fnatic. And I love the stylistics between the, yes, we talked about the backline dime from the side of Mad Lions, but you also have good kite back potential from the side of Fnatic. You may look at Olaf, you may look Mass at Olaf. Individually, the Broken Blade put together. The question now is, can Arma do the same? But instead, we're going to shift Ooh. focus to the bot lane. Bit of an awkward uh, move there. As the Shield of Daybreak does go onto a minion, but the flash forward for Kaiser, he's got the cooldown up in time. Now now moving in, Hillisang backing off, but he's got a bit of a shield. Hillisang not quite going down, holding on as Bufo now returns to the bottom lane. It's a TP coming in as well from Niski in the mid lane. Is Adam's gonna get a solo bolo on the top side? 1v1 traded back from the side of Mad. Wow, upset played that fight. Regular season a bit rough, but obviously they turned it around in playoffs and in MSI's. Armin now wants a little bit of revenge here. It's Alti versus Alti. Olaf on stop, but does he have enough stats? It looks like he most certainly does. Armin maybe not ready for this. Oh, oh Adam is on the way in, but man, Adam back to back on the solo bolos, walking back under the tower. Elioya taking some damage. Blippo on the way in, but Blippo may have stayed around too long. The leap back in. Blippo turns for the stun. stun. Kaiser taking the tower. Bear stance. Not available quite yet. The Phoenix not going to be enough damage. And double kill for Humanoid is Elioya on the backside. So let's take a look at this. This is the initial first one. I think Adam just gets, he doesn't even get level six. He just trades really aggressively onto Armwood who gets hit by the Q. Guessing the flash is a little bit late because Adam can follow. He does end up getting the kill. I believe he has triumph as well, but that doesn't actually save him. He pretty much had to perma gank to stay ahead of the more conventional options. Maybe with Divine Sunderer, he can uh, scale a bit more comfortably. As Adam could be in trouble. No mana here is going to be the big issue. No flash either. Ragnarok available though means he can make it out to safety. Just going to walk away on this one, throw back an axe, and get back under tower. But Look like Armut's done. They know that the ultimate is gone. Dragon has already been taken. Adam is trying to one-shot the wave to make sure that he can punish on this one, but it should be an easy dive for Mad Lions. Adam going down, Mad walking out unscathed. Yeah, the problem Adam's having here is his mid laner hasn't got Barakali. She can't really face check or look for early fights. She wants to scale and get one or two items. And Whippo's playing both sides. So Adam's stuck in a 1v3, but now they can make a cross map play. Forward. Ghost coming in for Whippo. Important to note here. He zooms in on that one, but the lockup is there. Whippo now gonna be in trouble. One more auto is going to seal the deal on the kill. They're going to grab some plates as well, but Whippo may be not too happy about going down there because it does mean giving up the Herald to El Yoya on the top side. Yeah, one for one is not what you want there because El Yoya is getting the Herald on the top side. They can probably Herald that top tower whenever they want as well and take that one down. So Adam, despite winning lane... Certainly spotted El Yoya as the duo, and Herald has to be the big thing on Fnatic's mind. It is running out of time. El Yoya needs to use it soon. Right, here they go. Can you do so? TP now coming out of the bottom side of the map. Flash over the wall from Hillisang. Whippo's going to be in trouble. That's the stun. Whippo now locked up, trying to run for his life. Lulu can't save him on this one. Heal coming out. Whippo trying to make it to safety. Bear stance might just be enough. Now they're now leaping in, but Humanoid's going to finish the kill. Upset has no room to maneuver in this one. The cleanse comes out, but it looks like it might be too little too late. That's the stun. El Yoya's going to grab that one. Hillisang is in trouble. That is the double kill for El Yoya. Perfect stopwatch from Kaiser to make it out to safety. Yeah, the stopwatch saves Kaiser from the Kogma passive and the Team fight. So have to see if Fnatic can make this one work where they want to put their defensive buffs whether it's into the Kogma or into the Olaf but for now Mad Lion's gonna grab a Drake uncontested tie it up one for one and like, no stepping too far forward trouble that's gonna be the wild go tries to buy himself a little bit of space but he's gonna go down before the fight even starts now it's Whippo caught out as well this is disaster for Fnatic Matt just eating them alive they had no reason to be there I'm really not sure why Hillisang he's trying was... to get a little bit of information there but he gets punished for it Whippo tries to save him he falls as well so another two kills from Mad Lions El Yoya has the ultimate if he wants to disable this tower as he can now step forward. That's big damage coming in. Goes golden, buys a bit more time, but El Yoya's here. El Yoya has the flash as well. Are they going to commit? Adam in the midst of everything. Karzi oh. goes in, but he doesn't get it. Niski holding on to his life for now. Adam now potentially on the chase here, but the axe will not connect. That's bad news for the Mad Lions. Yeah, Humanoid was pushing top in a couple of seconds there. I missed it. Small mistake, but it doesn't actually need it for the dive itself. Karzi's just over committing. Gets one popped by Niski. And uh, that kill goes off to Fnatic. So another mistake here from Mad Lions, you'd say. They're going to get the tier 1 mid. Humanoid's going to get the tier 1 top. Tier 1 mid, of course, though, going to free up a little bit more of what he can. The rest of Mad ready to move. Keep in mind, El Yoya has flash. Armin has flash as well. This is more like it. Whippo will have to face check. Walking away again. Whippo does not have flash. He has ghost. This is an easy kill pickup. Shockwave not enough. Niski now going to be in trouble as well as Kaiser goes for the collapse. Here comes the dive. So it looks like it goes a bit wide. Doesn't have flash, but there's no way for El Yoya. He doesn't have least this Olaf would start to pull ahead, but Arma doing a much better job of holding his own, of keeping up the lane pressure here on the bottom side. Still slightly behind Arma. Mispositioning mistakes that cost him so dearly in the G2 game. Kaiser waiting in the darkness. Level 10. Whippo, no flash cards. He immediately leaps in. They buy a bit more space. Whippo now trying to make it out, but he's just stunned for so incredibly long. He's running as fast as he can, and he's going to live. Whippo gets the kill onto Arma.
And Fnatic are going to walk away with one. I wonder if that was with Red Smite because he does end up dying. You can see the damage upsets outputting with Hillisang next to him. Mad Lions tried to make a pick on the Whipper, but he's too tanky. Humor going for the 1v1 top though. Niski no flash. Back to the planet that he is massive. Good damage on Niski trying to dash through, trying to finish the job. Not going to let him walk away this time, making up for cards these earlier mistakes. This is what I'm talking about. Over a side thing. Humor can... now setting their sights on mid tier two, knowing that Fnatic are late on maneuvering into the mid lane. This is what we were just talking about. You can't overcommit resource on one side of the map when your mid lane's exposed. Mad Lions have Herald and they have mid push. Fnatic playing on only one lane top. They don't even get the top tier one. Look at bot wave pushing in, mid wave pushing in. Upset trying to defend the wave top. Whipple has to protect him from the recall because he has no flash. So Fnatic's tempo is absolutely in the pavement. Bad Lions just taking full advantage of it. That's three towers in mid almost. Farzi, opting to go for a few auto attacks on Adam. Hey, Armut already taken bot lane tier two. Everything turning against Fnatic in that one. They were 4k behind moments ago and now they're 6k behind. Yeah, that whole sequence for two minutes was really not Fnatic favorite. Upset lost his flash. They didn't get top tier one. They got barely shallow vision in the top side jungle of Mad Lions. And Mad Lions get the. When you're not ahead or it's not super late game, normally that might not be an option. But if you can get a Baron, or in the case of Humanoid, if you're ahead of the clock on items, Upset and Hillisang have to be so careful here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Going over the wall, just leaping in on Upset, trying to buy as much space. Arma goes over as well, but their attention is split. You've still got three members stuck in the pit here. Whippo going forward, a bit of a scattered call coming in for Matt. Adam can just run straight into that pit, but I don't think he's going to. El Yoya flashing back over the wall. It is absolute chaos. Humanoid going back in, but it is the Baron over to the side of Matt. Oh. And now Humanoid just looking to style. That's Niski taking down. Humanoid still alive. Goes invisible, takes out Upset as well. It's the double going over to Karzi. One kill going back to Humanoid. Now Whippo's in trouble too. He doesn't have a flash. The ghost now burned. He has to run for the hills. El Yoyo just looking to finish the job. Everything again going in the favor of Mad Lions. It was a scrappy fight, but they get the Baron. They get the kills, and they're moving into the mid lane. Humanoid absolutely styling on Fnatic. Dodges away from the shockwave and solo kills both of the carries of Fnatic. Yes, Karzi was there to help. Hang on. Maybe Kaiser might die here. Adam does take him down. Humanoid versus Adam. Adam has a fully stacked Conquer. RuneScape dueling and Olaf, not the best choice. But the axe will go wide. That's going to be big. Humanoid can try to fire back. Humanoid has the flash and the Zonias, but he doesn't have the ultimate. They control both side lanes and they control mid wave. Now they have the option. Do they want to play towards top or bot? Looks like they're playing towards top. And Humanoids won't be wanting Adam, but upset and hit a sign around. He needs to be careful. And it goes back in, trying to get some damage down, but there's the wild growth. Immediate shutdown. Gold over to the Olaf. Well played by Fnatic. Humanoid a bit too cocky on that one, but in the meantime, his team is getting work done. That's going to be at least one inhibitor tower knocked down, so all is uh, not lost there. That's the advantage and the disadvantage of 1v1. You, you play on more lanes so you can punish over extensions, but you're very vulnerable because your resources are spread thin. You, you can get caught out on side lanes, and that does end up what happening. They get the bot tier 3, but Kaiser might fall as well. As he comes in, the health picks as well. Kaiser just getting run down here. There's absolutely no way to get away from this Olaf with so many movement speed steroids. Adam, an absolute monster if he's allowed to just auto attack. Yeah, mad lines. Getting caught a lot here with this Baron. They do manage to get bot tier 3, they almost got mid tier 3, and they got, made a great play. And they punished Humanoid's over extension, but now Humanoid might want to punish Ar Adam back. Double TP now coming in, Armut on the way forward. Adam gets some good damage down, but there's no way he can win this with more health coming in. He's going to try to run to save, the flash back out, the Gore Drinker to heal. Now Hillisang is in the area, the shield coming in, the Whimsy as well, he's running, but he might not be fast enough. He has to turn and he will go down. He's tanky, Hillisang's ultimate just came up, that's why I was twice slightly late. Adam does end up I mean, they got more than enough wave clear with no Baron on the side of Mad, but Mad are strong and they are not scared. They're just going to walk right into the base. Solar Flame managed to connect. Kaiser now going forward. Whippo going to be Big in trouble. Wave. Just barely able to make it out. Karzi trying to finish the job, but he can't quite get it done. Upset now stepping forward. Knows that he's uncontested for now. Armin having to dash back out to safety, but eyes on the Kogma. Stepping forward. The damage is good. The team is there to back him up, and Humanoid cannot find a way into this back line. Yeah, Humanoid didn't have ultimate up for this fight, so he couldn't really get involved. TP. TP coming behind. That's Adam. Bit of a slow but it's not going to connect onto Adam. Adam now walking forward. Humanoid should have the tools. He has the ulti now. Has to use the first stack through a champion, though. Can't just leap out to safety. In the meantime, it's Cloud Drake going down. Soul point to the side of Mad Lions, but Fnatic realizes... So when the enemy team face checks, you can punish it harder. So Humanoid on the side. Upset has both summoners. He barely got spotted out there. You can see Upset just pinged where he is. Does get vision on him. Niski will know, but this Baron's just gone. It is gone. Fnatic just cannot get into the area, they have to stay. On Mad Lions' team with the Cloud Soul benefit, Renekton, Leona, Kaiser. Aloya pushing in mid, trying to get the mid inhibitor. Mad Lions sieging towards his top side. Maybe Adam wants to find an engage. Done under armor, double dash back out alongside the Stride Breaker. Now Karzi's gonna be in trouble, he can try to reposition, but only the enemy backline. Now it is the death ball of Fnatic. They've got a Kogma, they've got an Udyr, they've got an Olaf, they just keep running forward. Arma trying to dash to safety, but the Polymorph comes out, there's no room. Humanoid wants to get something done, but his team is just getting slowly but surely shredded. Fnatic keep finding ways to stall this game out. The Baron's been picked up from Mad Lions, but two...
Can Fnatic find a similar engage? Shockwave should be up soon. It's quite low cooldown at 31 minutes into the game. But Upset lost his cleanse, so he doesn't have that for the next fight. If Kaiser can land, I still onto him. Then Mad Lions can Fnatic lose a fight here. The game is over. If they find a fight, maybe they can hold on. Arma dashing out to safety, but that's another tower taken down. No inhibitor towers left standing. Before running out of mana, humanoid off to the side, but they just can't overcommit onto the Akali Shield, just dash away. It's a similar story for Arma. It's a flash out from Karzy, though. No shockwave, and now Mad Lions want to turn. Mad Lions want to find a fight. Hillisang going to be in trouble. Force to use wild growth on himself. Karzy in the midst of everyone. Arma dashing through. Whippo alive for a little bit, but it's just not enough. Mad Lions pull the trigger the second they see that cooldown used, and they find the fight in their favor. Adam wants to get something done, wants to turn, wants to burn. Maybe he'll be able to get Arma. Is going forward. The Gore Drinker coming in. The Olaf is incredibly strong if he can stick to a target, but Mad Lions are turning back. Niski caught out. He goes golden. Upset still untouched for now. Fnatic, can they hold this humanoid in the midst of everything? Adam still going. Adam still alive. Upset and Adam versus the world. And it is Upset and Adam who come out on top. Karzy and Humanoid waiting. Do they focus the champions? Do they focus the Nexus? The minions are here. Surely they should be able to finish it. But Karzy stepping forward. The damage is there. The damage is not enough. However, Upset has to run. He cannot retreat into his own base. Still, the auto attacks are coming in. Mad Lions eyes on the prize. Adam leaping forward. The Nexus Humanoid slow. finding one. Humanoid just needs to get something back. But Upset just walks back to the Nexus to make sure Humanoid cannot turn. The dash through. Humanoid going in. Hillisang is here. The Nexus. Oh, can he get it? One auto. Whoa, that 2v2 went on for so long. Karzy trading his life to get upset low enough, and Adam tried his best, but Humanoid life steals up and just manages to take down the Nexus.